what's up everybody welcome back to another adventure it's always good to see each and every one of you and if you're new to my channel i hope you like what you see today and you decide to subscribe some of you may recognize this behind me but probably not it's grown up since we've been out here last this is the secret location where i find huge ammonites so in this video we have a special tool it's called rd1 rotary drill one now we've got a new tool to help get these ammonites out of the matrix because it's almost like concrete and the hammer and chisel as you can see in the video in the past i'll have a link pop up here on the screen you can click on that so the hammer and chisel was a really uh not very productive way to get the ammonites but this hammer drill will hopefully speed up that process and get those ammonites out of that matrix without damaging them. If you'd like to see more videos like this, finding ammonites, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. I can't thank all of you supporters enough from my YouTubers to my Patreons. We are 200 subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel within a year. I never thought within a year i would have 10,000 supporters and i can't thank you all enough so when we do reach 10,000 subscribers i'm giving away a seven point arkansas diamond that's certified along with huge quartz clusters and points and many other giveaways so be sure to be looking out for that giveaway video coming up we just got to get to 10,000 subscribers and the giveaways begin Thanks to all my supporters on YouTube and Patreons, I was able to buy this hammer drill. It's a rotary drill. We're going to call this RD1 because I'm sure I'll burn this thing up or, and I'll have to get another one, which will be RD2. I can't thank you all enough. I think my YouTube last month made like 110 bucks with the Patreon that helped pay for all these bits, all different types of chisels. We're going to be able to use and hammer out those ammonites i've got a hard rock hammer anytime you see one like that that's for the hard rock and so yeah i just want to thank you all if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't be able to buy that the arkansas diamond that i'll be giving away once we reach to 10,000 subscribers all you'll have to do is leave a comment on that video and you're entered to win huge clusters quartz clusters from arkansas and that's just a few of the prizes that i'll be giving away on that 10,000 subscriber thank you video all right let's get down to the creek this is the exact same spot the water is way down which is good because when i was here the water was like all the way up to here you know i couldn't even look out there so there's got to be tons of ammonites out there to get and right now i'm just kind of looking on the ground because you never know when you'll see one but yeah that's what we're going to do today in this video try to find a complete fully preserved ammonite here's something right here maybe a eh, piece of one broken off but yeah the better spot is up there so we will definitely go up that way here in a few get rd1 out get the drilling okay i've walked up and down this gravel bar not seeing a whole lot just some busted up pieces i think i might see a couple on the other side we may try to get across later on if i have time but the main goal today is to get our new toy out and start hammer drilling into the matrix and trying to find ammonites that are fully preserved and haven't seen daylight within 60 million years so let's head on over to the good spot 
Okay, I got the wagon through the forest part. Check this out. Look at all this like plant life, fossilized looking stuff. Really neat. There is no telling what you can find out here. There's a piece of ammonite that's actually got some crystallization formed on it. So that'd be really cool to find an ammonite that has minerals attached that have crystallized. So that would be cool to find. Um, you know, a T-Rex skull would be cool. Here's a nice imprint of ammonite. Oh, here's one broken. Let me get that in the sun. But yeah, as you can see, it's a uh, broken. Okay, I made it around that bend. My last trips that I made here, I was always walking up here. Pretty positive. And if you, as you can see, all this has been washed out into the creek. So this is going to be all new material to look through. Wow, this is cool. I'm glad I came here in the summer. I'll hear some more of that stuff up a plant life some more of it but here is what we'll be hammering in with the hammer drill so there's lots of ammonites embedded into this stuff and i found out that using a chisel and a hammer sucks oh look at here oh and it's broken see this was not here my last trip <sighs> See, we'll have to get the hammer drill hammer around that that way we don't bust it up any more than what it is there's a shell way up in there of some type a fossilized shell so this is definitely the layer we're looking for all right Looks like a lot of things have changed out here. All this has been changed. Here's a small one. Oh wow, check this out. See, this was not here my last trip. Oh my gosh. All right, I don't wanna, I gotta, chisel that out you know when I see these I just want to pull them right out and that's the worst thing you can do these little cracks right here you know it's still intact but prying on it will definitely break it so so far we got that one to dig up let's see what else is new let's just walk around and see what has become exposed after all these months have gone by and and all these hard rains. we've had a lot of hard rain this year folks of one <laughs> size of my hand which i don't have big hands another imprint here's an ammonite that could probably be chiseled out don't look all that great See some broken pieces down in there it's already 85 degrees it's a sunday so if i don't get started i'm gonna melt here's another large imprint not far from the others but yeah i'm still walking down surface hunting See what we got. Uh -huh. Wow, what's that? That's something. That is definitely something here. I don't know what that would have been. And right here you can kind of see it. Wow, that is something, folks. That's got some like some type of scale, like a man. I wonder what that could be. Oh, look at here. Looky, looky what I found. Ammonite.
Yep, another one to dig up with the hammer drill. Awesome. So we've got several that have formed since I've been here last. My calculations are correct. There's one. There's no telling what's out in that stuff. Like I say, you almost have to flip the stuff over and then you'll see it. Here's a piece of one. Holy shnikes, they're everywhere. Hmm. Wow, shade. I may come over here and come over here and work. Nice and shady. That Texas sun is brutal. We're gonna work our way. I'm gonna, wow, that big giant tree. Remember that huge tree that was right here? It's gone. <laughs> so that water was really moving. Here's another ammonite, dig up. There's another one. And my best ammonite came from over here. This has all been washed out, folks. Check this out. Ugh, if I don't slip, whoa. This has totally changed so much. I don't know what that is. Big clam, that would be sick. A huge clam. Holy smokes. If you know what this could be, leave a comment below, please. All right, working my way back to where we started. And I may have missed this one sticking out of the matrix. And that's the ones that I like to find are with these little points. Got a good crack right there. Not sure how fully preserved it is. But it could be worth Oh yeah, we still got some detail right in here. You can still see some more. So I have to get this cleaned up. See right there, it's probably busting away. You have to be really careful with these. They're just 60 million years old, that's all. So yeah, we got this one to dig up. I've seen several there's one right there. Three or four more to dig to uh, hammer out with the drill. That one's probably not going to be much, but you never know until you dig it up. All right, enough of me yakking. Time to start drilling. Walking back towards my wagon, I'm going to put these small things up and right off the bat here's one there's one not sure how good it's gonna be but they're just everywhere it's so much fun to come out here because you're guaranteed to find pieces of ammonites laying all over the place and sooner or later I'm gonna find a record-breaking ammonite for North Texas Okay, we're gonna use this hammer drill. Let's see if it'll help get these ammonites. But we want it to be on hammer.
you can see how this is like concrete I'm trying to get these out of the matrix but this is working so much better versus the hammer and that chisel let's change out the bits let's see what else we can get done with say the uh little tile prying bit There we go, that got it. Let's just hope it's a good one when we flip it over. Yep, it seems to be fully loosened from the matrix. Oh, here it goes. Oh, oh wow. Check that one out. Oh, I think it's huge. It's heavy. Oh, I'd say about 30 pounds. Crazy. All right, let's go get those others. And there's the imprint. That thing has laid there for around 60 million years. Can you believe that? And now we have the specimen right here. Alrighty, let's go get those others. We found several down through here, but check this one out. I was taking a safety meeting and it, something caught my eye after I got done. Check that one out. That's going to be a big one. Let's just hope it's fully intact and a complete ammonite. This material here is kind of like shell. It's not hard like concrete like that other stuff. So this one shouldn't take as long. I don't know for sure folks but I think this is a really large ammonite it could go all the way out if it's full it's going here and it could go all the way out to there so let's hope this is a complete ammonite and when we flip it over oh wow it could be amazing ow and I just fell in the mud. Holy crap. Ah, damn it. And since I fell in the mud, I guess it was all planned because here is a sand dollar type. Wow, there's another one. Little sand dollars. Look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, I slipped pretty good. Let's give this a rinse off. <sighs> Yeah, it's like a really old sand dollar. Cool. So I guess slipping in the mud was worth it. Yeah, this stuff is really, I mean, it's just, you just slide. If you want to mud skate, you can come on out here. Okay, I fell in the mud. <laughs> I had to go get washed up. Found a little sand dollar, a group of them. One was worth getting. And while I was in the water, I found this ammonite. It's not the best. I might be able to, what the heck is that thing? A little worm crawling on it, but 
And there's another one. Yeah. Look at that. But then he go up my cut. Oh my god, there's one inside of my hand. Ah, it just it just went in. So if I could possibly chip some of that off, but I'll probably just leave this. This would be a good piece for the uh, flower bed. All right, got cleaned up. Hammer drill. Oh, damn it. It needs to be cleaned up, but that's part of it. So we're getting there. This turned out to be a hassle. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna end up. I need a hard hat. I just see more improvement when I give a little pressure. You don't want to push down too hard where it stalls out the motor, but giving it a little bit of, instead of just letting it bounce off like this. You know, you don't really get anywhere. You almost have to push down. And it goes right in. And my battery's dead. Shit. Back with a fresh battery. This is my last battery. DeWalt makes a really huge battery that I'm saving up for. It's like $280 just for this super huge battery. But that's what I need out here to keep keep going. This thing is huge. That's what she said. Oh, nice. Yep, still going over here. Okay, so we've been working our way around with RD1. And look, it's still going. So I just got to be careful. And folks, this has been covered in this stuff for 60 million years. And this, to me, is a fully preserved ammonite. Let's hope that it's going to be. I mean, it's been trapped in this mud for millions of years I mean, it's just unbelievable and we're almost there okay it's starting to lift up okay I need to work on this side though it's starting to get into a bind This thing is loose, folks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It is time, I believe. Hell, I don't know. I've never really done this before. Okay, uh, let's see, that piece is mud. Oh, still going. I don't think it's a chip. Okay, maybe this is the beginning right here. Right here, and then it goes like that into the spiral. So, let me get old RD1 here. Oh, no, no, Oh my God, it's, I'm baking out here, folks. I don't know why I wore a black t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I wore a black t-shirt today. <laughs> Just gonna be a triple triple digits. Oh yeah, this sucker is coming up, guys. Finally, a fully preserved ammonite that I've been trying to get out here. And this is what it took right here. Thanks to all of my supporters and my Patreons. You guys are awesome. And I never thought I would. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. I'll probably start to cry, but. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, huh. No. Maybe once we get it cleaned up, it'll be pretty. But it's a full ammonite. This stuff could probably come off, but you'd have to tap it easily. All this right here, that's just the, the shell. Another huge ammonite, fully preserved. Whew. All right, let's go get some more. Okay, here's the next one. 
it's got some detail to it. Well, it turns out my DeWalt batteries are DeWalt, however you want to say it, or DeWalt. My batteries are dead. I'm going to have to save up and get that really large battery. It takes so much energy to chisel into that stuff with the cordless power tool. All right, I'm going to pack up what I got so far, do some more surface hunting. Might find something cool. If you'd like to come out here and join me on an ammonite dig, just send me an email. You can go to my Facebook page. Send me a message on Facebook. I will definitely get back to you. Getting washed up. <laughs> Check this out. If the mud doesn't stir it up. Oh, it's a big one. A complete ammonite. Yeah. Uh, get out of the sun. Falling in the mud was worth it. I was rewarded with a decent ammonite. It's got a lot of matrix attached. Sorry for the camera, I was cleaning it off, getting all the mud off the uh, tripod, so it's a little blurry. That caught my eye in the water. 